How do we communicate time to aliens? Our units of time are arbitrarily defined by society. How can we find a universal unit of time? In my last video, we looked at the pulsar map on the Pioneer plaque. Those long lines pointing to pulsars with the tiny notches indicating their spin periods. But those lines don't measure time in seconds. How would an alien know what a second is? How do we define a unit of time that any intelligent species could understand? NASA's solution was brilliant. They used the most universal clock in the universe. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is by far the most abundant element in our universe, so any spacefaring species should be familiar with its properties. To use it to define time, we need to understand its behavior on an atomic level. Electrons and protons have a quantum property called spin. In a hydrogen atom, the proton and the electron can have a line spin where they spin in the same direction, or the proton and the electron can have an anti-aligned spin where they spin in opposite directions. When the electron flips its spin, it releases a photon with a wavelength of exactly 21 centimeters. That corresponds to a frequency of 1420 megahertz, meaning one hydrogen tick happens every 0.7 nanoseconds. So on the plaque, the hydrogen spin flip is drawn right at the top. It's our key. The dot dashes are the periods of the pulsars in units of 0.7 nanoseconds in binary. All the binary numbers on the plaque are written in units of that hydrogen spin flip period. That way, even if aliens don't know humans or Earth, they will know hydrogen. They can decode our map. By decoding our map, they'll have an accurate record of when and where we are in space-time.